Hey there, guys. This is Mr. Oliver again with lesson number two. In lesson number two, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an actual sprite. Remember, a sprite is someone or character that's in there. There are sprites that you can control and there are sprites that the computer controls. But we're going to be creating a working sprite that's able to move around the screen for you. Okay? So, let's take a lesson two and find out. Again, first thing you have to do is make sure you are logged in, okay? Last lesson, we learned about how to get an account. So I'm just going to sign out here to show you what I mean about logging in. You have to click this button here, and you're going to click this one that says Continue with Google. You choose your student account, the one that ends with hpsd.ca, and boom, here you are in here into your account dealing with Make Code Arcade. So now you're going to click on new product, project. So new project, and you're going to give it a name. And this one you're going to call moving sprite. And we're going to click create. So here you have a screen that looks almost like the screen that you had when you were learning Scratch, if you learn Scratch. Big difference is this emulator over here that looks like a Game Boy of some sort. Okay. So, you'll notice that they've already have this here on start. Well, first we have to choose a character. Again, a character is called a sprite. We're going to click on this one that says sprites. Okay. And now, the first thing that pops up, it says set sprite to. This is where you're going to choose your character. So, hold down on the button. And then with a second finger drag this thing over and it fits together just like Legos. See? Now, if something happened and it was over here, you take this lighter version and you just move it around until you get it fitting in there. Now, our next step is that little gray square. We're going to click on that gray square and if you go to gallery, you see a whole load of characters. See that? There's everything. There's fishes. There's people. There's kitty cats. There's dogs. There's all these things that you can choose from. Well, I'm going to choose a fish from Frying Nemo. I mean, Finding Nemo. And I'm going to click right here. And look what happens on the screen over here. Watch, watch, watch. <gasps> look, there's a little fishy. But the fishy's not me moving. We, we don't have any controls in here yet for the fishy. So what we're going to do next is we're going to choose a controller. You see this button right here? This says controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this top one. It says move my sprite with these buttons. So let's just drag this in like this. Okay. We allow this thing to get its color back. And now our fish is able to go around the screen. Blah, 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 blah. But uh-oh. Our fish can get lost. And if that happens, just hit the reload button and your fish comes back. But we want to try to make sure that that fishy does not disappear all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in an invisible wall here, an invisible wall. So we search into our search function up right here, the word wall, and we're going to be looking to this one right here, set my sprite to bounce on the wall. We're going to click this right here. We're going to make sure that this is on. So now when we move our cursor over to our game, he does not go outside of that wall. See that? He's sort of stuck here. Okay. Now, that fish has got to be scared. It's dark out. So let's give this fish a little bit of scenery. So I'm going to click scene and I'm going to set the background color, which is number three on the scene option. Scene number three. And I'm going to place it on top of everything. And you see that gray thing, just like we did before. We're going to click that and I'm going to give him a nice blue sea look. I'm going to come over here, wait for it to refresh, and we have our fish swimming around in a little ocean. Okay, we have our fish swimming around in a little ocean of water. So that's the end of our second lesson on how to make a movable sprite and to give a little bit of a background. 
So don't forget, play around. If you need to, hack your code, which means go into this, change your gallery, change it to a different thing. Okay. If you do, click done and then go and change your colors if you want to. And next time we're going to do a little bit more and we're going to try to make an adventure game where that fish or another creature, your sprite, is able to, let's say, eat things or catch them. See you in lesson three.